All new tonight, a local man paid into Social Security for nearly 50 years. And now that he's retired, he says the government is refusing to pay him his benefits. Whistleblower 9's Paul Boyd investigated the case to find out how this happened. It doesn't make sense. They took the money, now they want to keep the money. Phil Summer says he's paid Social Security taxes for 48 years. Now he's 65 and ready to retire with his wife Mary, but says he's being denied his Social Security benefit. It's put a lot of strain on myself and my family. Summers was born in Canada, but this vital record shows his father was a U.S. citizen. And Summers himself says he grew up in America and worked here his entire life. 1968, my original Social Security card. Summers still carries his original Social Security card and provided this statement showing 48 years of payments into the system. How did they issue you this card they in couldn't. 1968 and now refuse you the benefit? They couldn't give me the answer. I asked for the answer. Whistleblower 9 asked the Social Security Administration for answers too and was told, due to privacy laws, we cannot discuss individual cases. However, we are in contact with Mr. Summers and providing assistance. The issue hinges on when Summers became a U.S. citizen. He says immigration officials only consider him a citizen as of 2016. But look at this. That's you right there. That's me right there. That's right. Summers also served in the U.S. Army. Whistleblower obtained this paperwork from 1972 and it clearly shows the government considered Phil Summers a U.S. citizen at least 44 years ago. I feel like I've been cheated. His wife says they're not rich and need the money. He loves this country and you know he's getting stepped on. It's just not fair. Reporting from Hickory, Paul Boyd, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.